Well, I bet you didn't know this. At least I didn't. I'm not a farmer or a gardener or anything. But with a bunch of seeds, that's all you need. Flower seeds and some land in your backyard or anywhere else. And you can make up like that $30,000 of extra money. Yeah. And this is what this profitable plants you know, blog does. It tells you about this kind of thing. And it goes on as they make twenty, thirty-five thousand uh, dollars on an acre. Now, an acre is not that big. If you don't have an acre, you could, uh, you know, find somebody who does, or actually go to your county cooperative extension service, and they'll find you somebody who, you know, maybe you could share that revenue with. He says here, and this is pretty recent here. Cut flowers are one of the biggest cash crops for small growers all across America, with profits up to thirty thousand dollars. Most Growers start part time growing for a market at local outlets like the farmers market, florists, and restaurants. See what's happened? Flowers, flowers now come from South America and everything like that, and everybody wants to get local stuff now. So that's why you could be growing flowers in your backyard and selling them to local restaurants and stuff. So cut flowers are a perfect cash crop because they are easy to grow produce quickly, and can supply a good income throughout the growing season. Also, startup costs are low, <laughs> as most gardeners already have the basic gardening tools needed and only have to buy the seeds to get started. Man, <laughs> isn't that cool? Yeah, and they tell you the kinds of flowers that probably sell the best and everything. Now, here's another website too. It's Hobby Farms. They tell you all kinds of stuff like that about cut flower business. So this is a big you know, income opportunity that people are taking advantage of in this country because it's a growing market, like things that are growing. You, you find where the trend is growing and it's easier to make money than going into something that people have been doing, you know, for a thousand years or whatever. Uh, like when I got in the computer business, nobody was in there. So, you know, with two weeks of training, I was the expert. Yep. And, and that's where to get into. So like this local market is, is what this is about. So uh, here it says twenty five to thirty thousand dollars a year per acre. Yeah, uh, here's how. What's interesting too, I found out, people are making a lot at <laughs> recycling flowers. So you don't want to grow flowers? You find uh, flower companies or uh, uh, people who are making flowers and recycle them. This is a new trend. This is like plan for purpose. This is a website that takes flowers that you've already used and sell them somewhere else because flowers last like five days or 14 days and people buy you know thousands of dollars worth of flowers for five hours you know well you could get that and, and and then resell them to somebody else and what these uh, websites do now they give percentage back to the people who bought the flowers <laughs> and then uh, the people who you know buy it secondhand Get the same thing for like half price. Now that, that, that's a pretty good deal. See, this is what we're on recycling. Right? Now this apartment I was in used to put on Airbnb. You know, <laughs> I used to rent this out, make money out of it. <laughs> and so that's what we're all doing. That you could do it with your car, your your golf clubs, almost anything. So now use flowers. So you can find all the florists here. There's no one called Revased, and what they do is go around and get the old flowers. And then they have a service where they send, I guess, restaurants, everybody, everybody who needs flowers like every week. So they package up the used ones and make them look nicer and send them out that way. See, there's a lot of new ways to make money. Nobody even thought of. I mean, that's what's good. Here's another, the garbage goddess. <laughs> now, she gets paid a lot of money to go to these big you know, uh, places that have big events. And she takes all the old stuff and tries to get money from it. Yeah, <laughs> she makes big money doing it. Actually, the, one of these companies now, uh, the guy was a lawyer who started it. And he gave up being a lawyer <laughs> to sell reused flowers. Now that's telling you how good this market is, right? <laughs> Lawyers are giving up being a lawyer. Uh, now here, here's another uh, website, you know, that does the kind of thing. It's Boomer rent. <laughs> so that, that's right. Sorry. The goal is to reduce flower waste by allowing, allowing your flowers to be used, reused after your wedding or event. 
And when properly cared for, flowers can last three or 14 days and yet are thrown away in five hours. That's really it. So here's it. Here's where you, you know, you hook that stuff up. So learn about it. Go to these websites, find out how they do that. And now you could do the same thing locally because it's probably not where you are now. So if you put in selling cut flowers to farmer markets, you Google that and you'll see all the you know, the blog posts and everything that is up for that. So you like flowers, man, get in the business, make money out of it. <laughs> and see, it's one of those businesses, you don't need money to start. That's what you want to do. Don't go to somebody who's going to, no, you just give me $5,000 and I'll show you how. Now, here's another interesting nonprofit organization. It's ncat.org. And they, uh, here is a sustainable agriculture. And they're on to this because they want to get local oriented things. And you could internship, you could go and work for free for somebody who's doing flowers, you know, growing flowers and learn the whole business that way yourself. And you make you know, a little wage too while you're learning instead of paying somebody 40 grand to do this or to learn how to do it. And here are funding opportunities. So you want to get an ag business, a uh, flower business or whatever. I mean, they got a couple dozen great, uh, grant programs here, seed, seeding solution grants, you know, specialty crop block grant program, food sovereignty grant, organic transitions program, specialty crop grants again. I wonder what that is. You want to spell specialty crops, yeah. Uh, buy local, buy Wisconsin grants, see Massachusetts, agriculture, cranberry, cranberry grants, <laughs> all these guys, New Mexico special crop climate resilient farming grants. Yeah, you know, oh, look at these things, small and medium sized farm grants. Yeah, Idaho specialty grants, uh, farmer foundation grants. Look at it, it just keeps going and going and going. Minnesota, oh, this man, I gotta find out what these specialty crops. I guess that you're gonna have weird crops or something like that. And, and, and you need funding, you know, to start that. So again, if you don't have land, you need land, your backyard's not big enough, well, go your county cooperative extension service. Okay, how do you find those? Okay, here, County Cooperative Extension Service. Actually, the people at pickyourown.org, which is a website, <laughs> they tell you where you go and pick your own vegetables. They also have a great listing uh, for the County Cooperative Extension Services. And they'll help you figure out how to make a business out of this for free. Don't hire anybody to do this. You know, you go to them for, they will know where land is for free. See, actually where I live in Montgomery County, they let you use land for free, government land to grow stuff because they want more people growing stuff. They'll let you use it for free. You know? So that's the kind of stuff that's out there. But you got to stick your nose out and sniff around a little bit and see what's going on out there. You know? <laughs> and that's what Let's Go Help is about. Uh, is showing people alternatives in life and not the traditional thing. You want to get go into farming, well, what you get an ag degree or whatever and become an industrial farmer with 10,000 acres. No, you make a nice living with a <laughs> which is one acre that's not even yours <laughs> and to get through life. And that's what it is. It's getting through life, supporting yourself and having fun and the joy of, of being close to something. And that's why farming started. It's watching things grow like me, me now. I'm watching my little business grow all over again. I had businesses before and some were very, very successful, <laughs> but I haven't been successful in 10 years. Now I got some successful. So watching this little plant, of a business grow, man, is so satisfying, man. So check me out uh, at lesgo.com. And that tells you how to join Let's Go Help. And any problems you have along the way of finding funding, finding expertise or whatever, you need legal help, I'll show you where to get all that kind of stuff for free. You don't have to pay. So why pay when you can get it free?